Welcome to Cinema Dive. My name is Nathan, and today we're doing something a little different. Lights, camera, action. This week just got away from me, along with classes and work. I just didn't really have a whole lot of time to make a full on video, but this might be something I still do on occasion as just a quick review. And today we're going to quick review The Rig. The Rig is a science fiction thriller television series created for Amazon Prime. And the premise is that when a crew of the North Sea station on Kinloch Bravo oil rig is due to return to mainland, but a mysterious fog cuts off communications to the outside world and the crew is being driven to their limits, endurances and loyalties by some unknown force. Now, it's not a movie, but our cinema hasn't captured how television has grown from being almost not notable to having some of the best stories out there. And The Rig was something that I was excited for when it was coming out. And so I've jumped into it. I'm about halfway through and I wanted to give you my first impressions in case you were wondering whether or not to watch it. Now, The Rig was set up to be a somewhat sci-fi horror-esque type of show. And to be honest, I've yet to really get any of that horror. The sci-fi definitely comes through, but it's not coming through on the horror aspect. It's also pretty slow moving at the moment. There are six episodes total and I am through half of them. So I've done one through three. And for a cast being led by Emily Hampshire and Ian Glenn, you would think that we would be getting something a lot more cinematic. However, so far a fog's rolling in and some people have started to get sick or infected with something, which is still yet to be determined what that is. And apparently it's them being prepared to fight against something else that has yet to be revealed to me in my short tenure of it. So far we have a woman who's kind of a company woman who seems confused on the fact that no one wants to work for free. We have a crew chief who seems to always be doom and gloom no matter what he's discussing. And then we have a veteran crew member who just seems to want to sow discord and poke holes in every plan that's come up for them to get out of their situation. But so far at three episodes in, I thought I'd be seeing a lot more of what the show has to offer and so far it's just kind of dead. And when this show first released on Amazon, it had a five star rating, which was very quickly down to a four and a half, which is typical. And that's exactly where I started watching. And in over the course of three episodes, it's gone from four and a half stars to a three and a half star rating on Amazon, which actually is pretty poor when you compare to what else has things like four and four and a half stars. Ultimately, at this mid season review for this show, I would say it's not worth your watch. It's not worth your time. However, by the end of next week, I will be doing another one of these, which is the full season review. And maybe I'll change my song and dance about that. Then again, maybe I won't. Either way, if you like the short format of this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel grow. Next week, I plan on having two videos, one of a full breakdown of a movie that I've watched recently that I was actually working on that I never got to. And I will do the final conclusion of the rig to see what it was all like. With that, you all have... A wonderful day.